everyone. Yes, as you've seen from the title, and things crossed, you recognise the background. Yes, I'm back at Trumpington Churchyard Extension because um, I don't know what order I'll be doing this in, but you you definitely do remember when I came here and I did um, Gwen. <laughs> like I've said in so many videos, I can never pronounce her. Um, her surname but she was formerly a Darwin she was a granddaughter of Charles Darwin and she's also buried with her parents in here and that who of course was um yeah it's uh what was her father's name was it I think it's George Darwin we can check when we we can have a look at their headstone again but um since um yeah I will admit it here a little it's winter and I have sort of been like, uh-oh, I'm starting to like run out of like already pre-filmed videos. So I've sort of been, you know, researching around here, you know, oh, what else can I do? And I must admit, I did find the whole thing of the whole Darwin's quite fascinating. So I was doing some more research and I discovered to my chagrin, but I didn't know at the time that. So means it, at least it means it was another trip out that I can make another video about it. But Gwen's um, infant little brother, and that literally, when I say infant, because he only lived for five days, Leonard Darwin is buried in a separate plot in here. So I thought I would come and have a look and bring you guys along for the ride. So, shall we go in? Sir George Darwin, KCB, FRS, Fellow of Trinity College, Pullman Professor of Astronomy, born the 9th of July 1845, died the 7th, the 7th of December 1919, and Maud, his wife, Born the 26th of July, 1861, died the 6th of February, 1947. Also, Gwen Mary, A-R-V-E-R-A-T, their daughter. Born the 26th of August, 1887, died the 11th of February, 1957. Yeah. Yeah, if you're wondering why it looks darker than it did the last time, I think because it's Welsh slate, it does go this um, this darker colour when it's um, it's wet. I mean, as you can uh, see from the ground here, yeah, it is actually 
it is still winter in fact we're in um actually no i won't say exactly where we are but all i'm going to say is we're very early in the new year if you get my drift and it literally went down to like minus two last night so that's the reason why it looks that sort of funny color but now i've got the tricky thing of trying to locate her brother and their son of course I thought he would have been right next to them but if he had been I probably would have noticed it the last time so I'm going to have to have a little wander around and don't worry guys I'm not going to give up easily I don't do that very easily anymore so let's go and have a look fortunate I do know what his headstone looks like he's got a very very small flat headstone so oh how pretty <laughs> yeah that should give you another clue yes how early in the new year we're in yes we've got snowdrops coming out tweet 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 i'm definitely not doing this on my own am i that's for sure uh, no no i thought that might have been it but no that's too big that headstone but we'll check anyway no uh. yeah I just saw it on um find a grave but it didn't actually give me any um plot directions of where he actually is in here but fortunate this cemetery is not that big Hey guys, yeah, back on my favourite bench again. Oh, zombies, that's, is that better? Yeah, and that, yeah, this is the same bench you, you saw me the last time. Yeah. Gwen and her, fan, and her parents are just there, if you may recall. Yep, I found him, but all I'm gonna say is, it's a good thing A, I persisted, but B, 
as you saw, I went all the way around and I literally couldn't find a flat headstone. So I thought, I'm not going to give up, but I'm going to look it back up again. Maybe there's more photographs that I could line up. And luckily, all I'm going to say is thanks to the Trumpeton local history who initially helped me when it came to finding Gwen around here a few months ago, um, did put some separate photographs up. And... <laughs> Do you know what? If I hadn't have actually found it, I think this would have been the one grave that actually I could have been forgiven for because as I turn you around in a sec, literally there, what? Um, like behind this grave and then I'm here. He's literally just over here and I was able to do it because the headstones in front of him I was able to line up but basically the reason why I could have been forgiven for not finding this is because his grave I don't know why but he's literally his grave and his headstone is literally right in front of another grave I assume they might have almost buried them together nearly even though there's no relation to them but the most important thing is there's um it looks like um snowdrops are planted around it but it was literally completely covered with leaves so the and the reason why i'm telling you this now is because literally it was so grimy but fortunate for us i brought a bottle of water with me just to have a drink with me so it will look really sort of like almost sort of washy and soapy because what I've done is I've brushed all the leaves off of course for obvious reasons so we can see the headstone but I've tried to rinse it off with some water to try and clean it it looks like I think it is the same kind of slate that is on their headstone but I don't know for sure uh, but it had so much dirt and grime on it so apologies if it doesn't look its absolute best but should we go and have a look right so there's Gwen, George and Maud. Although the weird thing is, it says Maud on this grave, does it? Yeah, let's actually just go over again briefly. Yeah, Maud was her mother. And that, let's have a look here. Yeah, George is at the top. Yeah, Maud. Now, the weird thing is, Maud was actually cremated. So I think her ashes are in there. But the weird thing is, it also does... I'm sure I remember it saying that her ashes are actually interred with linen here so as you can see yeah do you see this brown headstone here and then this very intricate one yeah these were the headstones i was lining up so here we are guys yeah there's also another headstone here i thought for a split second that was it and then I thought, no, it's too far forward and it's too big. So, you know what? I'm going to come round here. Yeah, that's good. So I can keep the sun out. Don't worry. That headstone, that, that grave is, is um, facing the other way. Here we go. I'll do the best I can to read, guys. Here lies the infant son of George Howard Darwin, professor in the uh, in the University of Cambridge, and Maud, his wife. Uh, Born November 30th, died December 5th, 1899. Yep. Ah, right. So, no, she is buried over there as we thought. That's just basically saying that that's who his parents are. So, yeah. So, here you go, guys. If you ever... So if you ever do come up, you know, literally come through the main gate, come all the way up the yew trees, you can see where Gwen is, and then 
that's the bench where I was sitting. So literally come down. Yep. Yeah, and I'll give you a good line up. So yeah. Literally is in front of these headstones. And I've taken a photograph, so I'll give you a good extensive picture of that at the end of this video. So, yeah. Oh. So, sorry it doesn't look as as um, pristine as those, but as you can see, yeah, do you see all those leaves, literally? I feel a bit bad putting it on their grave, but I just don't understand why he's literally... Oh, wait a minute. I've just noticed this. I'll, I haven't put it in front of their grave. Yeah, they're facing that way. Ah, obviously. Yes. This, I think this neck. Actually, I can't believe I'm saying this. I have never seen that ever. It seems, no, there isn't writing on both sides of this headstone. It, the headstone is facing this way, but of course they're buried that way. So, ah, that's the reason why he's here then. Ah, curious. Hello again guys. Yeah, I just walked back to the bench. I hate to say this, the ground is a bit uneven so it's easier not to be ho holding a phone always. Well, as you probably saw when you saw how careful I was traipsing around here and that. So yeah, so that's another Darwin grave. I find. Yeah, um, before you ask, am I trying to find as many Darwins as possible? Within reason, I mean, like I said, Cambridge isn't that far away from me, but the trouble is, several of them are all scattered around the country now. You know, a lot of them are down in, in Kent, where the family um, where the family seat and all of that lot was, and everything. And there's others all scattered around the place and that. I thought there was another one buried in Cambridge, but it turns out that, um, for once, findagrave.com is actually a bit misleading and all of that lot. But I hope you enjoyed this. And I must admit, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the bird entertainment as well. So, ta-ta guys, bye-bye. Oh, one other thing guys, um, in case you're wondering, um, one thing I did read about, but I haven't, I've still not got round to reading Gwen's um, book, sadly, on this. But, you know, Gwen was actually quite affected by how by the death of her um her little brother there apparently she used to kiss her mother's cheek every time she used to leave for school every morning and all of that lot so it is nice that they are all together in one cemetery and you know what some people have actually said why did were they buried over here because a they didn't live near here as you know they lived in darwin house which is now darwin college which i took you to they didn't worship anywhere near here and all of that lot. But I'm wondering if whether or not maybe this was the only place that was available for Leonard to be buried. And because he was buried here, that's why they chose to be buried here. So who knows? That's just, that's just my theory. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.